Merry Christmas, everybody! It's time for a very special episode of the story behind the yokai. Now, one of the things I wasn't terribly keen on was how a lot of the names in the localization probably should have been sent back for revision. This is especially true with a lot of the female yokai. I mean, sometimes you get gold like chattily, but other times it just seems like they're taking a word and putting an A on the end of it and saying that's a girl's name. I mean, Laughalotta or Toiletta or bad smella. Okay, that is literally the words bad smell followed by the letter A. But today we're going to be taking a look at a yokai who is another one that is a word with the letter A put on the end of it that actually isn't so bad. Blizzaria is the spawn of evil! Don't let her cute looks deceive you! She only exists to cause pain and suffering! <laughs> Blizzaria, or Fubuki Hime in Japanese, is an S rank yokai from the charming tribe known for her ice powers. Being roughly the size of a small child, she wears a bubbly blue kimono with a yellow obi and has her hair tied back with a hair clip that resembles a tiara made of ice crystals. Now, despite the fact that it took her nearly 100 episodes to finally appear in the show, Blizzaria is one of the faces of Yokai Watch, often appearing in credit sequences and promotional materials. She has also been recast several times in the expanded universe, being one of the teachers in the Nyan Pachi Sensei shorts, as well as taking on the role of Janine in the Ghostbusters inspired Yokai Watch Busters. Said popularity is probably the reason this episode exists. However, we get to see her true colors when she's introduced in episode 81 and crashes the party of a bunch of heat-themed yokai. Now, it may seem like her powers are going a little haywire due to her exuberance, but the Yokaipedia makes it absolutely clear that she has complete and total control over her powers, so she's doing all of this on purpose. Blizzaria is something called a Yukiona, literally Snow Woman in Japanese. The Yukiona is one of the more widely known Japanese yokai who take the form of beautiful women in order to draw their victims into their icy domain, sort of a trite moral lesson on skepticism. Yukionas are a very common sight in Japanese pop culture. Of course, you have the Pokemon Frostlass, you have pretty much any anime that has to do with supernatural creatures, you have literally every card game on the planet, and so forth. Heck, Yukiona is the Japanese name of Blizzaria's base form Frostina. Like with vampires, the sheer number of Yukiona in pop culture has created many interpretations of Yukionas and how they work. Some interpretations say that they live in the cold weather because they like it, others say that they themselves cause the cold weather, and yet more say that they're like Mr. Freeze and can only survive in that cold weather. And they all tend to have the name Yuki. Or something similar, like Oyuki. Or Yukio. How clever. You know, that's actually kind of worse than all of those names I'd railed against earlier. Fubuki Hime, on the other hand, actually translates out to Blizzard Princess. Which brings us to one of pop culture's biggest influences on the Yukiona, the Yukiona as a princess, or at least the image of them wearing a crown of ice crystals. This particular image can probably be traced back to the character Princess Oyuki. A relatively minor character from the Rumiko Takahashi series, Urusei Yatsura, a series where the stories of yokai actually came about due to aliens who look like said yokai doddering around on Earth. So yeah, despite her cute appearance, Blizzaria is actually really mean. I mean, I guess it makes her an effective parable on the idea that the Yukiona is beautiful but dangerous, but her popularity means that everybody fell for it. Hey! <gasps> Heard you were talking smack about me like I wouldn't find out! Well, I mean, it's all true. What are you gonna do about it? Well, I think we're going to have a little fun! <laughs> oh, jeez! Oh, what am I gonna do? Wait, I know. I'll summon bigger fish! Come on out, my friend! Calling Izanami! Yokai Metal set on! Ladies and gentlemen, Yororonzo Kuu! Ugh, did you have to pull me away from my Hawaiian vacation? I really need you to get rid of this blustering blue bimbo! Fine. Big wave. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go. Take a look in the five and ten. Listening once again 
with candy canes and silver lanes aglow.